Casey, it's so nice to have you here. And when you said we were going to do something on a kissing ball, I really had not heard it called that. I, I have heard, but not really seen, or made a, a pomander. So mm -hmm. they're really the same thing? They are, and I remember making a pomander in Girl Scouts. We used oh. to have an orange, and we'd stick clothes, clothes in it. In right, it. and That's that was right. actually called a pomander. And so when it became popular again, I thought, they're using cloves and oranges for weddings? <laughs> yeah. So how's that? So, but as it turns out, it's flowers. And you see them now often done with tissue or with silk uh, materials, but we are doing them with fresh flowers. And oh. this is made with little mums. Those are daisy mums, which uh -huh. are just darling. And they're perfect for the fall season or maybe to go with some sunflowers. Mm -hmm. But this would be something that a flower girl might carry down oh, the aisle. Sure. Or you might, with the ribbon there, you could have them hanging on the edges of the, the chairs the or, or the uh -huh. pews going down the aisle. So That's a very, good idea. very sweet decor. Or you can just pop them on the tables and just have them sitting around as a centerpiece. And you say they're fast to make. So fast even if you make. needed a bunch, and Pretty quick. I know these flowers last quite a while too. Yes. So that and that's good with what you've chosen. So this is the base. It's this just is a the styrofoam. Base. Yes, ball. it's floral foam, floral foam. This, so you need to soak it again, which makes it actually quite heavy. So uh, oh. we thought the first time we did it, we used a ball this size, and uh, we realized it was really too heavy for a flower girl. <laughs> yeah. We were calling it a cannonball, ball. <laughs> yeah. a kissing ball. Right. And so, um, so we actually find that the, the smaller size works better for the uh -huh. little ones because once you add the flowers, it actually it adds. grows. Sure, mm -hmm. exactly. So this one is about a five-inch sphere, and if we've found that a five-inch sphere surprisingly takes about fifty carnations. Wow. To cover and would it. it also depend on the size of your flower Absolutely. as to the size of the the ball? Yes, okay. and 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 price wise too, you really want to you're going to need a lot. So really, mm -hmm. carnations are great because they're uh -huh. inexpensive, they're hardy, they've got the perfect stem to mm -hmm. hold, and they come in so many colors. And oh. once they're on mass like that. People are like, what is that flower? Sometimes uh -huh. they don't even recognize what it is. Oh, when you brought so. these in today, I just was amazed at the beautiful color. And they and are you're beautiful. right. You can find so many colors. So true, especially these days. It's extraordinary. Mm -hmm. So there is a little prep we need to do. Because in, in the event that we did want to attach a, a, a ribbon, ribbon uh -huh. then we'd need to do a little bit something to make this work. Uh, otherwise, if they were just going to sit around, like maybe sitting on the top of a cylinder vase or mm -hmm. just on the table, you wouldn't need to do any of this prep. So we have this uh, string, this floral string. It's somewhat waxed, so it holds mm -hmm. its holds it on there. It's, I think it's oh, a, a little bit hardier, so you only get it at the floral supply place. So what we like uh -huh. to do is we just we're going to kind of wrap this like a present. Mm -hmm. We're going to go across. I wondered how you attached yes. if it, if the ribbon all went all the way around. All those secret tricks we have. <laughs> <laughs> and we bring it across like that, sort of, and we can sort oh, of stick it in uh -huh. there, and then we're going to go again around. Mm -hmm. And then this way here, we're just going to push down and use our little cutters to lift that back up, make a little divot, it mm -hmm. under. and then we're going to uh -huh. thread it under uh -huh. and then tie it in a knot. And that will... That will be the top. Then. That'll be the top. Mm -hmm. But we'll, then we'll run the ribbon through this as well. But sure. this at least gives us also some guidelines. We're going to use the string lines to be able to see what how, where we're going to add our flowers. So oh, so that you're not heavy on one quarter of it and not enough left then to do the rest of it or something. Right. And it gives us a nice little pattern to go through. Uh -huh. So we do that, and we don't really want to hang it with the string. It looks, you know, uh -huh. not so well. So then we incorporate our pretty ribbon. And we add that now because once you get the flowers in there, it's not you that can't easy. find it. <laughs> nope. Not at all, in fact. So you're, you're just going another under little that hole same there. little... Same little divot. Mm -hmm. And it's lifted like, up. Lifted up a little mm -hmm. bit. That foam is so easy to work with. It really is it very forgiving. Very if forgiving. If you're gnash, gnaw, gnawing into it here. Here we go. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go ahead and tie that. Oh, I love the silver with the pink. That's going to be beautiful. This is a it? very popular color right now. Uh, this charcoal gray. We've seen a lot of bridesmaids dresses uh -huh. this color. And we're wrapping a lot of bridal bouquets with this color. So oh. it is very, very pretty. So you can adjust that as you need mm -hmm. to for a little girl or to hang. So mm -hmm. that works On a perfectly. pew, it might need to be longer or something right. on a chair. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're set to start here. But a little bit of prep you need to do with your, with your flowers. So like I said, we chose carnations. And carnation word, it's, it comes from coronation because they used to use carnations in the ancient Greek times to make uh, wreaths, to coronate oh, someone. Uh -huh, to place on yes. them. Yes, and uh -huh. so this is actually, the carnation is one of the, the longest 
purposely cultivated flower in existence, uh -huh. and they're still doing their thing. And today. they're still just as beautiful. They really are, mm -hmm. and they're just they're just so lovely. So sometimes the carnation will come, and it's all the way open like this, looks mm -hmm. great. But if you need to give it a hand, it actually fluffs open very easily. Sometimes when they're oh. very very fresh, they're very tight, and they're you tight. need uh -huh. to do that. And so they actually open really easily if you want to do uh -huh. that one. Okay. And if they're super tight, you just squeeze the butt a little bit, and it does its thing. So yeah. Some flowers don't really like to be manhandled mm -hmm. um, around the petals, but these well, yeah, do just you fine. You wouldn't want to do roses, I guess. No, they're a little bit more delicate. Mm -hmm. And cutting-wise, we don't need too much of a stem, but we need enough to grab hold. Mm -hmm. But if our stems are too long, then they're going to run into each other. Oh, so yeah. it needs to be about two inches and about that high long, mm -hmm. because once we get it in there, I'm going to cut that one. I'm going to follow the the line right here. I'm going to put oh, it right so you're in. Start, and start it goes right all there. The way it goes in. all the way in. So if you want to just place that there, would it be about yep. an inch? Apart, yeah, and just maybe? go straight in. You can see how fluffy mm. it is, and these are so fluffy that it mm -hmm. might just be. We may not need all fifty. So let's wow. start piling them in there. I'm going to okay. give you those, and move that out of the way. And if okay. you want to work along that line, then I'll work on this line, and you follow the lines. And the bigger the flower, the um, the faster farther it apart. Yes. Yeah, and the faster <laughs> it goes. That's exactly true. Go ahead. And then I'll do mm -hmm. this one, and then we can turn it. Oh, See, it's filling fast. it already. I'll hold it up there. What a fun thing to do to work on. Mm hmm I'm going to change that. All I right. want it a little closer. Oops. Good. Maybe one more right there. Mm-hmm. There we go. And you want a couple oh. in there? Sure. And we'll turn it over, grab some more. I can see now, I really couldn't imagine it needing that many, but and I see what you mean about the size. This thing is going to be big. Big. So when someone mm -hmm. wants an eight inch one, you know you can mm -hmm. probably get by with a five inch ball. Uh -huh. Let's go ahead and fill those in. You can see how pretty it looks just like that. Do you usually hang them and work, or do you hold it in your hand? I hold it in my work? hand and work. <laughs> or I'll just leave it on the table and work it. Wow. Okay. There you go. There Gosh, we go. these are pretty. Mm hmm. Filling in nicely. Mm hmm. And, and the white daisies, are those called Gerber? Is that what those well, are? Well, there's or? a daisy mum also. There's uh -huh. a Jasty daisy. There's yes, all kinds uh -huh. of daisies. I was and thinking about summer weddings. That yes. yellow and white would just be gorgeous. It really would be gorgeous. Oh, I think we're going to need them all. Well, we did. I wouldn't Go have thought. Go ahead there. Yep. <laughs> wow. This is a cannonball size. <laughs> yes, it is. I think we've got one there. So, wow. ta -da! That is amazing. <laughs> So but but I can decor. see this being on a, you know, maybe a, a silver plate. Silver plate would be and, pretty. And just set it there on, yeah. on the tables for people to eat at the reception yeah. uh, to decorate their table. Yeah, that you can have a lot of so fun with pretty. it. And you, yeah. could, you could do it, you could mix it up with white and alternate, uh -huh. make it look polka dotty. You could mix colors that way, make it very romantic mm -hmm. for all red for Valentine's Day. Oh, that so. would be beautiful, too. Yes. Well, thank you so much. You're I always welcome. wondered how those were made. Well, That's now you fun. Know. You did one yourself. <laughs> sort of. <laughs>